This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hey guys, today's video is about how to create cornerstones for buildings, and we're going to do that in Maya, okay? So that's all there's to it. Let's jump in. Here we go. Okay guys, well here we go. So in this video I'm going to show you guys how to uh, add some uh, constructual elements to buildings to you know make them more realistic or believable if you will. And for that I uh, pull up an old model that I made uh, a couple of years ago of this uh, church. And what we're going to do is we're going to add some uh, cornerstones. Okay, so this is our model. What we're going to do is we're going to start in this corner right here. And we're going to start off by creating a simple polygon cube. Okay, let's move that over. We're going to hit F to zoom in. We're going to hit R to scale it out a little bit. And now keep in mind that this is not about making a low poly model. Uh, if you want to do this, um, uh, have the same effect on your low poly model, you would need to create a high poly and create a normal map. And I did videos on that. But that said, that's not what we're going to focus on right now. So we're going to take this stone here. We're going to make sure that we have roughly the appropriate proportions. So we're going to have a view from here. Let's hit W, bring that in. This is not necessarily the corner that we're going to work on, but that's fine. Looks like it's it's good. Yeah. Alrighty. So what we're going to do before we start to use that is we're going to tweak it a bit. Okay. So we're going to go to insert edge loop option box. Let's add, let's say we'll do four, four subdivisions right there and four there. Now the reason why it's uh, colored yellow is because I got my soft select on. So I'm just going to hit B to turn that off. We're going to hit Q on our keyboard. So here is our brick wall. Uh, let's see, we will add a few here as well. Okay, hit Q on your keyboard again. We're gonna right click our vertex and we're gonna grab a bunch of vertices. We're gonna hit B on our keyboard for soft select. And as we hold down the B key by left clicking and dragging, you can increase or decrease the affected area. So let's do something like that. We're going to hit W and we're going to start to move that a little bit. Okay, so we're just going to kind of tweak the shape somewhat. And we are going to smooth this, but just to give you an idea, we're going to add some detail left and right here. And again, this is pretty high poly, so if you do this either and make sure that you're not concerned about the poly count or make sure that you create normal maps, okay? Now we tweak the shape a little bit. I'll do one here as well. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click our object mode. We're gonna hit three to preview smooth that. This doesn't look too bad. So what we'll do is we'll select this guy and we'll go to mesh and smooth to actually smooth it, okay? And then we're gonna hit W and we're going to start to move that in. Okay. Now let's position that to where it should be. So we'll have a look from our top view Hit F to zoom in. And it's hard to see with our roof sticking out there. So we'll have to do it like this. Okay. So we're going to push that in to about there. That's about right. Now again, keep in mind that the uh, the mesh of this piece of rock, it's cutting into our building, obviously, which creates an enormous amount of faces that you would typically want to avoid, okay? Um, so if you're concerned with that, what you would do is you would cut out the geometry on the inside and make sure that this is all you have, what you see right here. So we've got this guy, we're gonna hit Control D to duplicate it. We're going to pull it up to about here, just so it's clear. Let's do that. And then we're going to hit Control E to rotate it and hold down J as you snap it in sections of 15 degrees. Then we're going to hit W again. We're going to bring this guy out and in from this angle. 
and make sure that the um, the level of uh, how far it's sticking out is kind of equal and check your proportions again okay so now that we have these two we're gonna shift select them both hit control D to duplicate and we'll pull that up to about there and then to repeat that up you can hit shift D and work your way all the way up okay now let's make sure that we didn't hit our window looks like we did not and this doesn't look too bad now a couple of things though uh, you can see uh, very clearly that there's repetition going on especially with this guy because of the um, the shape here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click at our vertex and we're just gonna tweak that a little bit in certain areas so that they do not all look the same all right and that's something you typically want to avoid so I'm just going to tweak that. I won't do all of them, but just so you know that it's important to keep that in mind, all right? So that is how you do that, okay? So uh, that's it. Uh, if you like this video, then please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And that said, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.